it all started. So Sean Clown is one of the founding members, and he's sitting on the chair, and he's he said, um, I basically was married with two children and had a welding job. I would have to be at work at about 5.30 in the morning, which means I would have to leave at 4.30 because I like to be early. So I'd find myself falling asleep on the road on the way back, actually down in the ditch and coming back. And I started to think to myself that, you know, that this is not how I wanted to live. I was thinking how uh, short life is. He said that he had more of an artistic musical side that he can reach people the most with that. He's like, that's his purpose. That's his purpose in life is to reach those through music, whether it's pain oriented, whether it's love, whether it's disgustingness, whatever it is, whatever artistic feelings it is, that's what he knew that he, he had. Not some welding job, you know? Good afternoon, it's Demise Music and Entertainment here. I'm sorry it's been a while since I've made one of these videos. I've been really busy and I've been really, really down lately, man. Like, feeling down, feeling like a freaking failure. And worst of all, feeling kind of stuck, you know? I just want to be open and honest with everybody and just tell you guys that I've been getting angry a lot lately. I've been lashing out at my girlfriend and my, you know, the, the circumstances that we are in right now because we have a baby boy, he's six months old. And, you know, little things start to uh, pile up and as positive and as inspirational I'm trying to be to those around me, sometimes things, over time it just bottles up and you start to get mad. And my girlfriend senses that, everybody senses it. It's all me though, I, I tell my girl, I'm like, Every time, babe, that I get mad at you, and every time I lash out at you or baby boy or anybody else, it's all ref a reflection of myself not happy with my situation. So if I'm ever mad at you, I apologize so freaking deeply for freaking lashing out at you. But that's, it's because I'm not happy with myself. If you're not happy with yourself, you're not going to treat other people well. That's one thing that I realize, but then yet I still get fucking mad. I'm like... Uh, Come on, man, that's how crazy the mind is. It's like, you know, a couple months ago, I was completely positive, completely like, hey, I'm grateful for every single moment. I'm grateful for every single second of the day. I'm grateful for everything, right? And then, uh, you know, just over a while, things start to add up. Little things start to piss you off more and more. And, you know, I'm, I feel like a complete ass wipe when I do that type of stuff, you know, and... I grew up around some arguing and stuff like that when I was a kid with uh, family and stuff like that. So I know how it feels to freaking have that type of environment. And it's not the best environment. It sucks. It does build your character, though. That's one thing I'll say is that I, I grew some pretty thick, tough skin because of the, you know, shit that I grew up around. And you too. Everybody. Everybody develops some type of thick skin. Uh, cheers. It's uh, 8.30 in the morning. So, that's one thing that I've just been down lately, you know, because there's things that I really want to get off my freaking plate before, you know, I pass away, whatever it might be. So, you know, music is my number one thing, and also my, my girlfriend and my baby boy. Okay, so my girlfriend and my baby boy are main priority. They come first. Financial, love, financial everything right so I have to make sure that that is taken care of and you know I'm not used to that I'm really not used to that so I have to train myself every day that I wake up every day that I wake up look you're a father now okay you have a beautiful girlfriend and a beautiful baby boy you must be grateful and you must provide and I'm like okay that's already and then once it comes down to the other stuff right so it's like you know get money go out there stay positive stay focused um you know and then sometimes after a while you just kind of want to you realize and you go wait a minute wait am i losing myself in this am i losing my my rhythm am i losing my fucking my ambitions okay so that's an ambition number one ambition at the same level as music okay now here's the fucking thing all right clown sean clown from slipknot there's an interview old interview of him 
sitting down, having a, a talk with this guy, and he said, you know, what's the philosophy behind Slipknot and all this stuff, whatever, and like how it all started. So Sean Clown is one of the founding members, and he's sitting on the chair, and he's he said, um, I basically was married with two children and had a welding job. I would have to be at work at about 5.30 in the morning, which means I would have to leave at 4.30 because I like to be early. So I'd find myself falling asleep on the road on the way back, actually down in the ditch and coming back. And I started to think to myself that, you know, that this is not how I wanted to live. So I was thinking how uh, short life is. He said that he had more of an artistic musical side that he can reach people the most with that. He's like, that's his purpose. That's his purpose in life is to reach those through music, whether it's pain oriented, whether it's love, whether it's disgustingness, whatever it is, whatever artistic feelings it is, that's what he knew that he, he had. Not some welding job, you know? And he said that he told his wife, look, um, I'm going to start a band. I'm going to have people coming over. And she said, hey, you know, as long as you put the kids to bed and put food on the table, you can, uh, you know, that's cool with me. And when I heard that, I was just very, I'm so glad I watched that because Sean Clown already had a wife and two kids. So for him to have that already and then go out and he said, he's like, no, you don't understand, babe. We're going to, I'm going to start the biggest band in the fucking world. And she's probably just like, okay, whatever, yeah. And then you see it grow. Now Slipknot, they perform all over the world. One of the biggest fucking rock bands and heavy bands. So I'm so glad I watched that because I came at the perfect time. It came at the perfect time because I was thinking, I said, wait a minute, okay? My goal, my goal in life, I have many goals, right? But, you know, one of them was to put out a rap album, which I did, right? I put that one out when I was 24, 25. I was so proud. And I said, what's the next one? Get in a band, play drums, and just start fucking rocking out. Boom, did that. Okay, with the Scala Minucci boys. The Scala, Scala. Other goal is Visceral Remembrance, VR. So what that is, it's like a very uh, artistic, at times heavy, at times melodic, at times slow. A lot of pain, a lot of... Uh, despair influence a lot of guttural screaming a lot of crooning singing it's just gonna be i've already put songs up visceral remembrance vr it's one of my most artistic fucking expressions ever okay so i need to put that together and unfortunately i don't have anywhere to play music right now that's the one thing that's really fucking with me that's the thing that's on my mind the most is i don't have any any room Necessarily right now, which I could set up a drum set, a guitar, and a fucking camera. That's all I need. That's what I had at my grandma's house. At my grandmother's house, I had uh, my uncle built a room in the garage. Rest in peace, uncle. And I just took everything out. I took out my fucking bed. I took out a bunch of shit, and I just said, this is music. Straight the fuck up. Drum set. I'm sleeping on the floor. I'm sacrificing for this music. Okay? And I had all the Scala boys in there. I had other people who wanted to jam in there. I recorded my rap album in there. I would fucking sleep on the floor. And I would look at my drums and be like, all right, let's get up. And I'd ha I had a job as a cook. And before I'd go to work, I'd knock out a fucking song for VR. Or I'd practice drums or some shit. And if my cousins wanted to play some, some drums or music, i said, go ahead. You can play. Just don't uh, fuck with my drums. Just play them. Don't tune them or detune them. So, that's the thing. That Sean Clown interview came at the perfect fucking moment. He put it in perspective from his point of view. He already had a wife and two kids, and he was working a welding job that he hated. I don't know if he hated it, but he said this is not the way he wants to live his life. Told his wife, I'm going to start the biggest band in the world. He's like, okay. Now, that is extreme. That's Slipknot right there. My goals are to put out some more demise stuff okay i want to put out some more demise rap music a couple more music videos and then after that i will live off the fruits of my labor from the demise stuff i'll kick back relax let the views grow let the people talk let the people ask me what was going through my mind when i made it and hopefully they could relate uh, the scholar stuff 
we, we want to create at least two EPs or one album, okay? Or one EP and one album. So with the Scholar Boys, it's a little tricky right now. Some of the members in Oregon, or uh, one of them at least is in Oregon. A few others are thinking of relocating to Oregon. It's an eight-hour drive from where we live. So uh, that's going to get kind of tricky, but it's going to really test our commitment to this music. Okay, and it'll bring a more mature sound because we're going through more mature stuff. I have a kid now, one of them's in Oregon. Um, all of us have to really independently th think about this and come together. But it's a brotherhood, man. Scala is a fucking brotherhood. I love you guys so much. The VR stuff, now the VR stuff, Visceral Remembrance. I play pretty much fucking all the instruments on that. Drums, guitar, singing. But I like having other people come in as well and throw in their, you know, if someone else has a guitar part, they can fucking do a guitar solo or anything. VR, Visceral Remembrance, is an open fucking... And, uh, you know, in order to get all this stuff, I need to get a fucking a unit, a little room, a little fucking place that is not that big in which I have my drums set up, my guitar set up, to right when I get in there, I can just fucking hit record on the camera and just start fucking playing what comes to my mind. That is how the VR songs are made. That's how the Scala songs are made. And that's how Demise makes my beats. I just sit there and I start going. No com preconceived notions. It's just in that flow state, which is one of the most important things ever. When you get into a fight, you're in a flow state. You don't even fucking think. You're just going. When you're running from a dog, you're in a flow state. You're just going. When you are in front of a crowd and you're singing and you're doing really good, you're in a flow state. You're just flowing, not even really thinking about it, okay? It's where you're not overthinking and you're letting your body do the work and the energy is just flowing out of you. Flow state. So I've been getting really pissed off lately and really uptight because of the fact that I don't have that musical outlet as readily available as I once did and I need to get it again. But that Sean Clown interview really helped me out and really made me realize, hey, this guy had two kids and a wife and had a welding job that he hated and he quit. And now, look, he's in fucking... He helped start Slipknot, one of what the biggest bands in history, right? I mean, the following, the fans of Slipknot are just fucking insane. Die hard. Now, here's my ult ultimatum or whatever you call it. Here's my double-edged sword. Here's my pyramid when I'm at the top. It's either I, I go settle, okay? I can go settle for a nice, comfy job right which is five days a week and i will be bringing in some good money okay and that'll help me pay for a little room where i can rent out where i can play music three days a week four days a week or or i can have faith within myself i could believe in myself and i could put my fucking balls on the table and say you know what that is not that is not what i want to do like Clown said, that's not how I want to live the rest of my life. I think my, I believe my purpose and my calling and my whatever you want to call it, okay, is to reach the masses through the, the music, reach the, the hearts of the people through the fucking music that I create. And in return, it's a commonality between the two. They're like, fuck yeah, Demise, I fucking... Love that song. I get that, you know, online and in person. In person is the best. And I say, thank you so much, man. I'm always humble, always grateful, always, always fucking just in love with that. And that's the main reason why I do music is because I'm in love with fucking showing people the hard work, the fucking grit, the pushing through it all. And they feel it. And they're just like... Oh my god, and they listen to it over and over and over. And I'm like, hey man, that song's for you. Any song I make is for everyone else. So, you know what I mean? Like, just fucking go for it. Like Sean Clown said. He said, 
there, there would be no, I would not fail. I would not fail at this music because that welding job wasn't the way he wanted to live his life. And there's no other way I want to live my life than have my girlfriend and my baby boy teach him and show him that you can, you can live on your own terms. And you don't have to live that cycle that, you know, 90% of people live. And there's nothing against it. There's nothing against that at all. I've worked the 9 to 5 jobs. I've worked 8 fucking hours. I've worked 10 hours in a day. Right? And it's nothing to me. I can do that shit all day. Okay? But I think. And I go, is it really what I want to do? Do I really want to work at this cooking job that's fucking 10 hours? Or would I rather own a, a, a fucking small restaurant and be there for 10, 10 hours and, you know, make the food for the people that I want to make for them to eat? Or do I want to create music and put it out there for the people to listen to and say, hey, this is from my heart to yours. Pull my fucking heart out, stab it with all these fucking musical notes and give it to you and it's still beating and you're just like, fuck yeah, demise. That was a little deep, sorry, but... It's the honest truth, man. So, Demise Music and Entertainment. Got my two Pac shirt, Machiavelli. Love you guys all so much. Sorry it's been a while. This is a long video. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you all so much.